Hi everyone, this is Sybil. Welcome to my channel. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched my video where my husband helped me out filming this area of my craft room where I shared my desk, my rolling carts, and I opened all the drawers and shared everything. I got a little flustered because I'm normally holding the camera or filming with my camcorder, but my husband did a fabulous job and he is once again here to help me. And a big thank you to all of you that um, mentioned what a wonderful job he did in your comments. We both appreciate that and I told him and that made him happy. So today what we're gonna share is this Martha Stewart Hutch. This is where I do my die cutting. And one thing I forgot to share on my last video was that um, I've organized my craft room so I have like things together. So this little cart over here with all my paints and you know all the items that I need for painting, I can move that over across the room to my coloring station and I can paint there. And also I have on in this area all my shaker bits and things to make like type cards, if that makes sense. All right, so today we're gonna move over here and I'm just gonna share this part with you. It's this little hutch from Martha Stewart and I did get a question, are the Martha Stewart pieces of furniture still available? And yes, they are. In fact, today we purchased another Martha Stewart desk for my craft room. So this is the hutch. I don't think this is available. I did not see that. So you ready to move forward? Okay, you go in front of me. I don't want to be in the camera. All right, so yeah, you gotta go forward. There we go. So we can open these drawers. And what I wanna share with you, so I've got my big shot over here and my Gemini, and this is the large one, not the junior. And I love both of them, so I use both of them. And in this first drawer here, I have um, big dies. So I have my Sizzix bigs here. I do have a few more embossing folders. Most of them are in that Totally Tiffany um, storage unit on my desk, but I did keep a few embossing folders here. And then I have this really large Spellbinder die here. And I have my my three favorite embosslets. I don't think they even make those anymore. So then I'm gonna close that up. And then this drawer here, if you can move over a little bit and then I can move over, thank you. I have my cutting pads for my Gemini, extra cutting pads, large um, cutting pad for my Sizzix, and then the instruction and user guides for both of them. Okay, I'm gonna get down and I'm afraid I'm gonna be in the video. <laughs> Can you tell how much I don't want to be in the video? <laughs> All right, so in this drawer here, I have the tape that I use for die cutting. And then I have my stick it papers, and you can see there's a lot of them because I use this a lot when die cutting. It's great for when you die cut words and you put that on the back of it, you can peel it and then adhere several of the same words or same letters together or even image, you know, die cuts that you do. I have foam here for shaker cards and whatnot. And that's pretty much what's in there. And then here I have my um, Distress Oxide Ink refills. And then I have more of them here. And then down here I have paints and some glitter dust. I have some daubers. And yeah, just refill inks. Okay. Over here, I keep, now I'm gonna have to pull these out like this. So these are my image stamps. And I just have them, all my little, I call them image stamps. I know that images are on most stamps, that's you know what it is. But I call the little boys and girls stamps image stamps. So I have my Poco Doodles and Candy Bean and things like that. And then I have my Magnolia stamps there. And then one last one with CC Designs. So they all, if you wanna come down a little bit, that might help. 
they have, they all fit in here is what I meant to say. And then down here I have my holiday stamps and dies. So this container is all autumn and this container is a mix. No, this container is autumn as well. So both containers are for Thanksgiving and autumn crafting. And I'm gonna close, well maybe I should leave them open. So in this compartment, I have my um, We Are Memory punch boards. I have some extra magnetic sheets for my dies to when I put them in the acrylic sleeves or the actually the plastic sleeves. I have my little EK Tools bow making set that Susan Lafferty gave me. Thank you, Susan. I have another punch board, um, a card holder, just miscellaneous things, and I have a little duster here to pick up glitter, and I need to get more of those because that's my last one. And then the bottom here, I have all my punches, and then also my crimper and my Tim Holtz, um, you know, heating tool. So that's that. If you want to scan over to where they can see my punches there. Most of them are from um, Stampin' Up! and then I just have miscellaneous ones. And I do believe my favorites are Stampin' Up! Um, die, um, punches. They make the best ones, I think. But they're, you know, We Are Memory Keepers and EK Success and Fiskers. They all make great punches. So there you go. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you all for being so kind. And thank you, honey for helping me out one more time. God bless everybody. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Bye for now.